Hello gamers, the role is here and welcome back with another episode of Empyron Galactic Survival. How is everybody doing today? I'm living a dream so far, thank you very much. We're starting at our base and we have a lot of grow plots which is amazing and I'm planning to do more but in this episode we do not going to do anything in our base. Because I was thinking about that at the last episode, we managed to get out to space, we managed to gather up the small vessel, and I was thinking about what do I need to do to actually get a capital vessel, the CV, the, the heart of the game, the one what everybody wants. And then I realized probably I need to build one. And building a capital vessel in survival although it's a lot of fun and hard work and grind uh, even though with the CPU turned off and all the rest of the stuff it's it, it's super hard because you need to have an idea and I was I, I was thinking I was sitting in a chair uh, looking through my Facebook group uh, I'm, I'm grouped up with a few people in Ampere on Galactic Survival and I was searching through like finding a blueprint because there are a lot a tons and massive amount of blueprints for ships to use what you can actually spawn in all you need is a cost material which is amazing but then I was thinking about it there is that such a amazing uh, creative option in the game to actually build your own capital vessel. How cool is that? All I needed is an idea. So I was thinking about that. Wait a second. What is my favorite ever ship? My spaceship, what I really, really wanted to fly since the beginning of time, since the beginning I started to watch science fiction. And then I realized Whoa, that must be the Moya. I'm not sure how many of you remember Farscape. That was a, a sci-fi series. Uh, I, I watched all the episodes of it. I, I really did love that series. And, and that was Moya. It was a living, breathing ship. Uh, what has a pilot and there was a guy from Earth and it's, it's just it's long story short the Moya you're probably gonna see a few big pictures just popping in just to explain how cool the chip looked and uh, I was thinking about that uh, is it even possible to build that in 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 this game and then the idea come to my mind uh, well even if it's not let's try it let's let's see what, what's gonna happen because that's all the games about that's all the games are about to actually try out stuff what you really would like to and from the first time since I started to play Empyrean Galactic Survival uh, I, I, I had a rush I had a, I had a I had a rush in my head that I have to do that I really really want to do that and uh, well then uh, I, I went down and I started it so that's what it's gonna be about so i'm gonna uh explain to you what i did uh how i done it and that's the first time when i'm building a capital vessel in this game so uh yeah that's that that there's gonna be a few bump what we're gonna hit but uh hey ho life isn't perfect but we're gonna try to make the most of it so let's see what i've done in all the ship building the first thing what you ever gonna need is a big long line just to make sure that you will know how long is your ship going to be and then i was starting to think oh all right there is my line so i had a picture in my second monitor and i was like all right i i, I can build it i can eyeball it it's a really big shape it's a really nice curvy shape uh i can eyeball it oh, there are all these shapes in the game and i just gonna i just gonna do it I just gonna build it up and uh, try to make the most of it trying out all the different shapes and and I think like you know I, I'm that good I'm actually that good so I gonna I'm just gonna eyeball it and it's all gonna work out for the best well let me tell you that uh, well actually these little eyeballing what you what, what you see around uh, that when it's all right moment it's uh, it, it took me several hours just to actually get there just to see what i'm gonna do and that, that was crap i mean it didn't look good at all then i was thinking all right i need a few dimensions so it's easy put that in a photoshop and just uh, pull up a grid but actually 
I had no idea. I had no absolutely idea how to pull up a grid. So that took me uh, a few hours uh, until I realized like actually that uh, the best thing to do is actually bring up my pen and work by pixel. So if you get your pen, you can set it up that uh, you, 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 can, you can paint pixels and then you're gonna see all the pixels in the game. So then I, I, I had a start. So I, I knew how many pixels is the Moya, Moya. At least I had a pretty good idea. And then all I needed to do is actually build it. And I was like, all right, that sounds easy. But then I was uh, started to uh, realize another pro uh, problem. I had no idea how big is the, the, the maximum sized ship, the maximum sized capital vessel in the game. So again, I was thinking to myself, all right, that, that seems to be easy, that seems to be doable. So all I need to do is to actually ask Google. Well, in my case, I asked Bing and I did ask the maximum block limit. No, 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 it was a, how long I wanted to say uh, a CV can be in a game. I mean, in Empyrean Galactic Survival, obviously, but you need to spell it right first. Damn it. Then I pressed enter and uh, let's see. Well, I had no idea. I had no absolute idea. I couldn't find a single thing. Then I was thinking, all right, that's gonna be easy. All I need to do is put down a capital vessel starter pack and then just build out the longest uh, thing I can build. Uh, I I'm gonna go out as long as I can, as it can be. So thanks God, at least there was a limit. So there was actually a limit what I could do. And actually that limit was 239. So that's how many blocks I needed. Yeah, that, that, that was a block limit what I could do from the capital vessel core from either side. Then all I needed to do, pull back into the game, uh, make sure I'm gonna cut out the part of the Moya what I need. So in this case, I, I needed the base shape. So I wanted to make a base, uh, base of it actually without the curves and anything anything just to make my life easier and i think that was a, such a good idea so the, I, I, I i liked it pretty much and uh, that's what, that's what i done i cleaned up the shape nicely so all i've done is i pasted it in a new document what was actually 239 by 239 and i just had to uh fit it in so I had to play it around, play around with it, just to just to just to fit in. So you know, move it around, make sure that all the both end ends are just reaches the end of the paper, and, and that was it. And then I had my blueprint. It was still really hard. So that was you know that all I had is uh, is, is a few details, but it wasn't really clear like what what is what and. Uh, uh, and it was still hard, believe me, it was really, really hard. But at least I had, you know, some idea to, to start with. So then I started to calculate how long the ship needs to be. So I was using my little pen, I was using my little dots, and then I started to build up little by little the whole base of the ship. And then when that was ready, I started to build out the outside curves the, of the whole shape. So I, 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 made, a, I made a really rough frame. It wasn't 100% right, so I made a few mistakes because there was there was no actually actually uh, good measurement, and that was like you know 239 blocks. So if you're using that many blocks to make curve with the blocks, uh, that's that, that's gonna happen. So you're gonna have a few mistakes, but you can easily work around with those at the beginning, and then you you know uh, later on I can I, I can just polish it down a little bit better. I can just make it a bit more uh, nicer and smoother the whole look, but all I wanted to have is to have a really rough frame that what I'm going to work with. And that took a little time, uh, uh, to be honest with you. So that little part that you see there, it took me, uh, whoo, I don't wanna lie guys, like a good four hours, four hours solid building, just to have the base ready and then just start to work with the curves. And, and that wasn't easy, you know, I can tell you that it wasn't easy at all. But finally, when I get the curves, I, 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 I could manage to build the whole thing. And then in the process of building, uh, I realized a lot of good thing which actually helps you build. So, well, you can go in God mode, that uh, half my traveling time. So that was after four hours building, guys. So you can go in God mode, you can half the traveling time in 
in between blocks you can use the shift or the control and then you fly like fly like super fast i was using a bloody jetpack man and that was that that was crazy then uh, i posted in a in a group uh, where i where i usually uh check my mp messages and everything and I posted in a group and the guys give me a lot of good idea. Uh, one of the guys actually uh, uh, gave me a really good idea. I wish I would have think that before he actually wrote that message. And he was saying that uh, it's really easy because what he used for measurement when he built his ships, uh, he do uh, color them in every 10 blocks. So he placed nine block and the 10th block, it's a colored block. So there is like an actuary uh, measurement in place so it's easier to work around with that shape and I, that was like oh my god i wish I, I i wish i would think that but you know now i was halfway through the building so i was like yeah i'm not gonna try to do that now that's just gonna mess mess around and take just too much time and well that's the first drop build so it's only gonna get better hopefully and then i realized a few more things so there is uh, what you can see and i was starting doing the symmetrical build if you place one block in one side you can uh, the another block gets placed to the other side instantly and if you're using shift and right click you actually deleting the block from both sides and that, that that was a huge help because it, you know at uh, first i discovered a symmetrical build and then i was thinking all right that, that that's great that's really nearly but as you can see that curve that made me make a lot of mistake because uh, you know I, 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 I didn't have a really blueprint like how how I gonna build it up. I just had a thing in my mind, which is which is not bad, but guys, that just took so many so much time. And then I was thinking like, all right, that's that, that's gonna, that's gonna be great, but oh my god, it's gonna be so much work. So I was thinking to myself, um, there must be an easier way. And then I realized, oh yes, if you click right click while pressing left shift, it's just gonna instantly delete the block. <gasps> then I even build a small little ship to fly around with a flashlight because I, I, I was uh, I put that ship in, in a really bad position that the bottom side was completely dark and it was really hard to see all the textures on the ship what I actually made from far away and as you can see like this shape is like is like three quarters ready and that took me another good six hours so I'm already building the ships from 10 hours now guys so it's just wow wow and I'm loving it like every single bit of it is just amazing and then with these blocks are placing so that is the bottom of my shape that is actually the last few blocks what I actually need to place and then you know I realized a few more things as I said as I went along so that is actually if you press uh, press control while you're holding that long line of, uh, of blocks then you can you can just make a big like checkboard style so you, you, you can place like sections at the time which is makes building like like twice as fast as it was before and i was like oh my god why i was not thinking that before and that was the last block yeah so then finally the ship was ready look at that look at that beauty i mean that's the right rough idea of the ship and that's uh th that's gonna get smoother eventually but there are two things what i left for last there are uh, two back uh, wings basically which is connects to the to the to the really end as you can see but there there was no curves because i was really afraid uh how to build those up uh because 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 i don't know like that that, that was the that was the most what i was afraid of, to build this shape that two little curve because they are they were going outside and then upwards and then they were going downwards and and, and in there so that, that that was really lots of curve what i need to do with block but well hey oh i played a lot played a lot of minecraft so you know nothing gonna scare me anymore and now i knew all that cool building trick and it was just so much more easier and then i started to build it up so i was like yeah let's let, let's have it and 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 i started up so i went up and outside so i went on both sides and i using using the new cool techniques what i found and that was actually really easy you you don't believe how easy it was and the most part that i was afraid of actually the, actually it was nothing 
that was that was easiest part to build in a ship because by the time I, I, ba uh, I built up the whole base, I spent so many time. So uh, that was that 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 was the, the I think through the 14 hours when I was working on the ship, and that felt just so good. So I I went out. I, I tried to find here the longest point which is the, the biggest uh, section what I needed to build. And then I found it that, and I was like, all easy, really nitty. And then basically that was it. It's all happened. You know, I taken out the last few blocks. It is a beautiful, look at that. Uh, the only thing what I don't really like, the, the, the front is, uh, uh, it can do a little more work, but it's just a, a hard copy of the, the Moya actually. So it, it is not bad, but there are room for improvement, definitely. So there are no interiors at the moment. As you can see on the back curve, it looks good, but it's, but, but it's a little bumpy. So I'm hoping when I'm gonna add the rest of the blocks, which is gonna make the texture smoother, but there's a lot of block placing, you know, I can tell you that. So it's not gonna happen uh, just now, but I will do as soon as I can. So you, you're gonna see a weekly updates on that as well. I, I'm pretty sure in this channel. So thank you so much for checking that out. But as you see, it's it's amazing. So what I've done, I was thinking about, all right, I had that awesome, awesome ship, but I really wanna take it out to the, to, the, to the sunny side. I really would like to be able to turn it around if I wanted to, because all I had is a core and the blocks around. So there was no thruster, there was nothing on it. So I decided to build everything up and uh, let's take it out for a ride. It is really hard to turn. It is, it, it is not the easiest one, but I think as you see now from distance, the texture and the color and, uh, and, and actually, the form of the shape it reminds me for the Moya. It is really hard, you know, it's really uh, cubey because I built it up from cubes. Hey, surprise. But if you see, if you check the, those pictures out, it is, uh, it, is, it is really close at the moment. And I think I can do a lot of uh, fine tuning. And when the fine tuning is gonna be ready, the chip is gonna be absolute stunning I, I i can tell you that guys that 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 for oh, i actually cannot wait to to see this beast in the glory and that's gonna be my new goal that's gonna be my new life goal in uh in mp galaxy survival guys i really want to spam uh, uh spam in that ship uh in survival actually i want to be i don't want to be it in survival because that would take like well, crazy amount. I need God mode to build this definitely. But that Moya, uh, there are some uh, details from the ship, and I'm gonna search for more details. So I will try to make as accurate uh, as I can. I find a few different design. As you can see, that was the previous one and this one, and that's the design what I went with. That's the most what I think it's. Uh, it's like I, I can see all the dimension. So I, I can work with it a little bit, but it's still gonna take me a lot of uh, time to actually build it up nicely. But I'm not afraid of that anymore. I build the base up, so all I need to do is smooth out the curves and then start to focus on the interiors. Uh, what it has is a tier four CPU because I had to put like a, a four, uh, no, six large thrusters in each direction. Actually, it's a size class 18.01. That's huge ship and at the moment the block count what i placed on it and i deleted pretty much the half of it so that was like a uh, 35,938 that's just a lot of blocks so that was like nearly 6,000 block jeez but thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed that episode if you did make sure to hit that like button if you want to see more of that be sure to subscribe and leave a comment if you like it just let me know have a nice one bye bye